Later on this morning, we are going to be thinking a little bit about Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, one of his closest friends when he was here on earth. And you probably know lots of stories about Peter already. He's one of those people that always seems to be larger than life, either spectacularly right or spectacularly wrong. And one of the most famous occasions when he got it wrong was after Jesus had been arrested before he was sentenced to death. And Peter, who had said just hours earlier that he would die for Jesus, is hanging around outside the chief priest's house where Jesus was. And people keep realizing that he must be one of Jesus' disciples. But instead of standing up for Jesus, Peter says three times that he doesn't even know Jesus. And it's a pretty sad story. And and later on, we're going to be looking at what happens when Peter and Jesus meet up again after Jesus has risen from the dead, when he gets to show us that he's sorry for what he's done, um, and and this is a bit of a spoiler, uh, Jesus forgives him. But rather than tell you that story twice, I want to tell you another story that I don't think you'll already know. It's a story about someone who does something wrong and has to say sorry, and his name is Eric. So let's find out what happens when Eric says sorry. This is Eric says sorry. It's written uh, by Di Hankey and illustrated by Xavier Bonnet. The sun shone bright on a hot summer's day as Eric went out in the garden to play. He placed the ball on the penalty spot and then whack! He unleashed a mighty shot. Up, up, up sailed the ball above the bar, high into the sky over Percy Price's yard. Thump, thumpity thump, Eric's heart beat fast. Down came the ball with a thunderous crash. Oh my days, Eric cried in distress as he peeked through the hedge to assess the mess. A scene of destruction greeted his eyes. Percy's pansies are pulverized. Filled with dread, Eric fled to the shed. Scanning the shelves, he scratched his head. Aha! he exclaimed. I know what to do. And he soon returned with a tube of glue. He crawled through a hole that he found in the hedge, rolled up his sleeves and took a deep breath. Then soil to pot and petals to stem, he put the pansies together again. Buzzing, said Eric, feeling quite clever. That was until a turn in the weather. A gust of wind toppled the pot, but shattered again. Eric's jaw dropped. Suddenly, a small face snooped through the hedge. It was Eric's little sister, who didn't look impressed. Oi, Eric, what did you do? And why are you smothered in petals and glue? I didn't do anything, Eric replied. But little sis knew her big bro had lied. Eric was guilty, and boy, did he know it. But if he was sorry, his face didn't show it. I'm telling mum, she threatened her brother. Tell me what, came the voice of their mother. And there, through the hole, mum loomed into view. Oh no, groaned Eric. Now what do I do? It was Lily, said Eric, shifting the blame, his cheeky cheeks now blushing with shame. I'm sure she's sorry, no harm done. But Eric could see that he didn't fool mum. Eric was busted, and boy did he know it. But if he was sorry, he still didn't show it. Don't tell dad, Eric cried in despair. Don't tell me what, boomed a voice on the air. And there, through the hedge, a third face peered. And with it, all hope of escape disappeared. Dad, started Eric, what what a surprise but the panic in his eyes could not be disguised. Hey, Eric, called Dad, what's occurring? Eric's a vandal, said Lily, stirring. Well, uh, it could have been worse, Eric insisted. I didn't smash a window like Lily once did. Eric was squirming and twisting and turning, but his distraction tactic was crashing and burning. Eric was guilty, and boy, did he know it. But now he was sorry and his sad eyes showed it. Eric, my boy, we can fix this mess, but is there something you need to confess? Yes, blurted Eric, it's all my fault. I unleashed a shot like a thunderbolt. I've clearly got super soccer powers because the ball flew for miles and wrecked 
these flowers. So I ran to the shed and raided your shelf and I nicked the glue to fix it myself. Lily came over, so I told her a lie, but then I blamed her when mum swung by. And now you're here and I feel so bad. I'm really, really sorry, dad. His father smiled and reached out his hand. You're forgiven. Now hurry, because dad's got a plan. Quick as a flash, Eric dashed back through and was met with hugs despite all the glue. They cleaned him up and then popped to the shop to purchase a pot for Percy's plot. Eric held up a coin. It's all I've got. Don't worry, said dad, I've paid for the lot. Thanks, said Eric, but Eric, but I, I don't deserve it. You're right, said his dad, but no one's perfect. Learn this lesson and never forget it. This is called grace, and grace is epic. What's grace? asked Eric. Well, said his dad, it's undeserved kindness when we've been bad. We all mess up, but God loves us still. Grace put things right, and it pays the bill. Amazing, said Eric, but how does he pay? Son, whispered dad, there was only one way. Jesus paid for our sins with his blood on the cross. Wow, exclaimed Eric, grace costs a lot. Dad, declared Eric, grace is cool. I just hope that Percy thinks so too. Eric trudged up the path to Percy's door. He knocked, then waited, then knocked once more. The door creaked open and there was Percy. Eric held up the pot and pleaded for mercy. I, I smashed your pot and destroyed your pansies. I'm so sorry, Percy, please forgive me. Percy gently took the pot. Thank you, Eric, this means a lot. You've learned your lesson, I can tell. All is forgiven, I wish you well. The grateful lad, lad walked home with his dad, amazed that grace had made him unsad. Eric was loved, and boy did he know it. His sorry was gone, and his big smile showed it. Isn't that an amazing story? And it's not really much to add to that. Grace is just an amazing thing. So let's just take a moment now uh, to pray, to say sorry to God, but also to say thank you for grace. Let's pray. Dear God, I'm praying this prayer to say sorry to you for all the wrong things I think, say, and do. Forgive me for all my sinful mistakes. Thank you for the cross and your beautiful grace. Amen. And now that we've thought a bit about Amazing Grace, let's sing a song about it too. No, not that one, that comes later. This song is called This Is Amazing Grace. <laughs> 